What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you step-by-step -step on how to draw Slappy from Goosebumps. Let's begin today's lesson at the top of our page and draw two circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. Starting from the very top, come all the way down towards the bottom of that circle, and then bring that back up towards the top. Now we want to leave a gap in between the eyes and draw the same size circle on the right. So line up the top of that circle, come down towards the same height, and then back up towards the top. Now you want to add a small highlight circle on the top left side of each eye. So we'll start up against the edge of the eye, bring that circle coming in, and then back out. Let's so line this up on the right. Now in the center of each eye, we'll draw a small circle for the pupil, but we'll go in behind the highlight. So we'll start from the bottom, come around, and then just tuck that in. and it will fill in the center of the pupils. Let's add in the eyebrows. We start on the top left. I'm just gonna curve this in, across the eye and down. And we'll line this up on the right, going out towards the end. Now from the inside, draw a short angle line going up and in. Now taper the eyebrow so it gets narrower as you go towards the outside. Let's fill the inside of the eyebrows. Now we want to move to the center and draw on the nose. Let's start with the bottom edge. We'll start on the left, curve the nose coming down. We'll bend that up. Let's step up and draw a short curve going up and then down the bridge of the nose. Let's give our character a wide smile. We're going to start underneath the left eye, curl the mouth coming down, and we'll bend that back up towards the right, and we'll add in the upper lip. In the center, we're going to step up and draw a V, going up and out towards the side. And from the left, go across, and then bend that up. Let's draw in the lower lip. We're going to step in, curl the mouth coming down, Now we're going to work our way down towards the chin. From the outside corner of the mouth, we're going to step in, draw two straight lines coming down. Let's connect the bottom with a curve, coming down towards the bottom of the chin, and then back up. Now from here, we're going to move out to the side and draw the cheeks coming in towards the side of the chin. From the left eye, we'll step out, come around, bend this in towards the bottom of the chin. Let's round up the side of the head. Starting back on the left, bump this out around the eyebrow, go up and then in. Now from the top, we're going to curve this in and then down and round up the center. So we'll start on the left. Come in and down. Let's go back to the left side, come down, just round this out and go back. Now from here we're going to work our way across the left side of the head. Starting from this point, go around the head, pull that up, and add some layers to the top of the hair. Going up, and bend that down, aiming towards the center. Let's add another layer. From this point, go up, around, and then down. And go back up to the top of this curve, go up, Now bring that down towards that point on the right. Let's close off the right side of the head. Starting up here, going all the way around the head, come down and then in towards the cheek. Now we want to give our character some ears. Let's start from the side of the head, curve the ear going up, come down, and then bend that back in. Let's add a fold on the inside, on the left, curve up and then out. Now let's move down and draw the inside edge of the collar. We start on the left, bend this down and then in towards the center of the body. Go out and then up towards the right. Let's add the bow tie along the top. Start with two short lines coming down the side of the knot. 
pulls off the bottom. And then from the bottom corners of the knot, come down and out for the side of the collar. And we'll pull that straight up underneath the chin. Now let's work our way down the side of the body. we we'll start over on the left side, just underneath the head, put the body going out, then bring that down towards the hip. Let's line this up on the right. Out, and then down. From the hip, we're going to curl the jacket coming in and up towards the center. And we'll connect this point to the bottom with a straight line. Now I'm going to place a simple carnation on the right side. So start from the top with a curve. Let's go back to the left. I'm just going to repeat these curves going all the way around towards the bottom. And bring that back up towards the top. Let's add in the jacket collar. From the top, angle down and out. Angle this back down and in towards the inside. And we'll draw the bottom of the collar, coming down and out, in behind the carnation, and down and in towards the center line. Let's add a button on the top right with a circle. Let's continue working down towards the bottom of the feet. In the center, we'll step down and add a curve, going up and then down. And then in the middle, draw a straight line coming all the way down towards the heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. From the bottom of this line, curve the left foot coming down and then up. And the same thing on the right. I'm going to go back to the left side and draw the top of the foot. Start with a curve going up. And we'll bend that down, aiming towards the heel. And just bend that back up towards the inside of the leg. Now from the bottom corners of the jacket, we'll step in, draw a straight angle line, coming down and then out on top of the feet. Let's add a thick sole on the bottom of the feet. We'll take this curve, step up, and just trace that across. Now we're going to go back up to the top and draw on the arms. Let's start halfway down the side of the body, starting right here, then the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. Line that up on the right. Now from the wrist, we're going to draw a small half circle coming in and out for the thumb. Pulls off the end with a bracket. Now we're going to wrap three fingers around each side. Let's start from the bottom of the thumb, come down, and then up around that bracket. Step down, come down, and then up. And then the third finger will go all the way around the arm, go up, and then in underneath the head. Let's separate the cuff of the jacket. Starting from the top of the thumb, curl this up, and then out. And then the last thing we'll do is sign our artwork and add a splash of color, and that's pretty much it. There's a drawing of Slappy from Goosebumps. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.